Hi guys, Moi from Bear Run here. Um, today we're gonna do a, a routine of 15 minutes. Uh, and it's a combination of leg strength and some cardio and the only thing that you need is a rope. Uh, this is actually a piece of uh, climbing rope because I didn't have a real jump rope. So you can use whatever you have around. And we will do 15 exercises, uh, one minute each. And the idea is to just be consistent and keep the pace and prioritize execution. So let's get started with a, with a two minutes warm up with the rope. And yeah, I mean, I'm not a, an expert on jumping the rope, but it's a great warm up. Um, you can go faster or slower. Um, just try to keep a good form. Yeah, be consistent with me. seconds and the warm up will be done and we'll start with the okay so the first exercise is gonna be a squat so remember you can put your hands on the back on the front the important is to be consistent and have like a cruise speed and the posture. So you don't have to go extremely down if you can't. Um, and the, the turning point is basically when your back start doing this. So make sure that your back is always straight. Some people are able to do a squat like super straight like this. I, not necessarily like that, but the important is to have good form and don't overdo it, like don't go deeper than what you feel comfortable. And it's just one minute. And then we go again with the rope for another minute. seconds each leg and your knee should never your knee should never go beyond your toes okay so 
keep it contrived. Get a good posture. There you go. And try to keep the same distance when you switch legs, right? Um, quality over quantity. So don't worry about speed or trying to do like too many. If you want to do a lot of the squats, do the routine two times if you can. Yeah. Okay, so that's one minute. We go back to a friend. Rock. Just some uh, uh, what's the name of this? Like caps? Gemelos in Spanish. Do you speak Spanish? Um, the idea is to go up with both feet at the same time. Keep a, a good posture, and this is kind of like an easy exercise in the middle, so we can like relax. Um, but of course, after a minute, it's not necessarily that easy, and also because we are using our calves a lot in the in the jump, in the rope jump. Pardon my English. Uh, cool. So we're gonna do another minute of rope in a second. And yeah, just steady. This is not like crazy intensity, but it's consistent. and then you push back with your leg. Uh, this is a great exercise for your quads, but also for your hamstring. And it's also really good for control. principle that we had before, don't go over. I think I already made the mistake of going with my knee past my toes, but this try to don't do that. Like for up. Okay. 
be harder over time. It doesn't get any easier. consistent and if you want to work more in your hamstring you just open a little bit you are not so like close this is more about glutes and here we work more in the hamstrings I'm gonna focus on the hamstrings right now and uh, when you up you make sure you press and hold for almost a second and try to get as straight as you can. This is a great exercise for your low back, hamstrings, glutes. Your leg going up and keeping the control in this one. You're gonna feel it on the 
hamstring. Um, if you want to add some extra work, you can add a little like stride here. And we do 30 seconds of each one. Remember that it's about that leg going up, you know about your back going down. The back go down as a answer to keep the balance, but that's not the main objective. Okay, so we're five seconds, and then we're done. Okay, good. I hope it was a good workout, and remember, quality over quantity, and over time, you can try to do more repeats of each exercise, or if you get better with the rope, just jump faster. Great job.